we've got here we've got Emily who came in first so hello Emily um, we've got Toast we've got Zach and Dia and Poppy the Lord of Anxiety I love that name it's a fantastic name I am going to butcher this person's name Mia Hadass please tell me if I'm saying that correct or not and I will try and correct it uh, who else have we got Judita Again, if I'm pronouncing anybody's names wrong, I like apologise. Um, please just correct me in the chat. Perfect for you, right? That's great. I don't know what I'm going to build today or what I'm doing today on stream. I just really wanted to try streaming out. So if you have any ideas of what you'd like me to build, if you want me to look at some of your builds, I think that could be pretty cool. I'm happy for ideas. Just no, hello, hello. How is everybody doing today? hope you're all having a great day it's a fairly nice day here in the UK up north We've got some sunshine if nobody has any ideas I might build in the sylvan glade since it's quite a small lot and I don't want today's stream to be too long since it is my first stream it makes a change it's 6am for you and hello Kristen um, I remember your name because you submitted some questions to my ask me anything so hello it's a big change it's really windy here still but 
it's there's been some sunshine it looks like the sun's starting to go away now which is sad building a house but I've never done that that could be that could be fun you've been awake since 4 a.m. oh my god that would kill me I think I went to sleep at 4 a.m. the other day so waking up at 4 a.m. sounds awful right I'm just gonna start a new game I think so I'm not messing about with any of my saves and I'll pick a random place since we've got maybe an A-frame house. Yeah, I've never done an A-frame house either. Let's just randomise a sim. I hate that you have to select a sim to be able to build. It's super annoying. Let's just give them a random trait. Some random things. What even is... Yeah, yeah, who, you don't sleep. With a shed. We do a shed. 8 a.m. in Texas. It is 10 past 2 here in the UK. Nine PM in Australia. Hello, Brooke Sims 4. Welcome in. And at Secret Girls 211. Hello everybody. I like to build in summer, so let's go to summer. A-frame house from experience are pretty fun to build. Well, I might do an A-frame then. It could be pretty fun. I have wanted to build one for a while. And maybe in a future video I might do the boat house because I have wanted to do one of those as well. Where should I build this? I'm unsure. I like to build in Tato, so it's one of my favourite places to build because the lighting's really good. But I'm not sure. Maybe I should build somewhere different for today. Yeah, I selected Sunday. I wanted to pick a weekend because I have a, had a feeling most people would be off or like not at work or anything like that. So that's why I picked today. It's 10 a.m. in Lost V. What's Lost V? Am I getting something wrong by that? 10 a.m. in Lost V. Oh, Lost V. Is it Las Vegas? Do you mean? Is that is is that what you mean? I'm unsure. I'm going to go into Tato's and go to my favourite lot to build because I love building here. The lighting is just so good. And the camera doesn't bob up and down. That is like my worst nightmare when the camera just likes to bop. Oh, it's cloudy. Just what we want. When I say the lighting's really good, we get the worst lighting imaginable. I'm just gonna turn it to sunny. You don't have MC cheats. If you have a PC, really recommend it because you can do all sorts in it. It's a really good mod. I don't want to change the time, I want to change the season. Change the weather. Let's go sunny warm. What's a pack I want to see in The Sims? I'm not sure, it's really weird. I don't really want kids or anything, but I love building for toddlers and kids. I think it's really fun. So something aimed towards them, the toddler stuff pack, and like the parent pack, just went enough. There's still items that I feel like I'm missing, so I'd love something along those lines, I think. But then I obviously, I want fairies so bad. Um, I, I loved the fairies back in, I can't remember, was it, is it the Making Magic where they had fairies? It's been a long time since I've played any of the other Sims games, but fairies as a game pack would be my like dream. I wish EA would ask me to build me something for them, like I would die to do that. So since I've never built an A-framed house before, I'm pretty sure you have to start with the roof. So I'm just going to go in with that. Maybe not that big, that's a little bit too big. A 
to build it on a foundation for a no not a fairy pack like that we've already got one of those with werewolves we, we don't want that sort of fairy pack you know what I mean because I say it weird I'm sad my BFF let my Google meet then all the people have oh that's sad this is way too wide I feel like I should build this on a foundation first. I want it to be stood on the edges. Maybe build walls on that and then the roof. I've never done one before and I've never seen anybody do it because I'm not gonna lie, I don't watch a lot of Sims content because I play it so often, I get a little bit bored of the Sims. So I have to like take breaks by not watching a lot of content. I don't think this is right either. Please let me know. Yeah, with the world that you could have with fairies. I mean, even if you look at Sylvan Glade in the base game, which I've been doing a lot of videos on the hidden worlds, it's like, it's so beautiful. They could go with something along those lines. This is, this is not going how I want it to do. I can't talk and do stuff. I'm really bad at multitasking. Maybe I just go with one on the floor for now because it'll be easier. When you put, you can't put walls down. How do people build airframe houses? Oh, I know, I know how you do it. I've seen somebody do it. So put it on a thing and use these either side and the main bit on the top. I have most of the packs. I have all of the like build sort of packs other than the luxury party stuff but I don't have all the cast like kits. Um, I'm not a fan of the cast kits. I've got a few of them because I'm like they're quite nice but because I don't really use cast a lot I tend to not buy them because I don't want to use my money on them. And because I'm a part of the EA Creator Network, I do now get the packs for free. Which reminds me, I do have to say this every now and again, apologies, it's going to be super annoying. That because I'm a part of the EA Creator Network, this video is technically an ad. Because I have been gifted some of the packs. I think I've been gifted like four of the packs. But with the new E, like not EA, with the new like UK laws, we have to stay like gifted stuff as an advertisement even if you only gifted some packs it's really annoying i have to lift, list every single video now as an advert but i'm happy to disclose it because it is the law so i have to do that what sort of style should i go for for this airframe i don't know what style to go for i don't know if i like what i'm doing i don't know if this is the right thing do i go for modern do i go for Older style. I hate when that happens. Like, why did it delete my things? I'm back in. Rustic beams and big floor in windows I can do that I like that style maybe like the one in the wood sort of style I think the rustic beams in the high ceiling uh, not the high ceilings the big floor to windows windows well I can't speak the windows will go with that sort of wood style hello Mirella And is it Brian? Can you give my daughter Athena a shout out? She absolutely loves your channel and watches you to get better. Sorry, the heart's covered. At Sims, she used the toddler pool that you uploaded. Yeah, big shout out to Athena. Oh, thank you so much. Like, that means so 
like that means a lot to me that my videos can help somebody I say that but I'm doing really really bad at building right now <laughs> Uh, what the Sims YouTubers do you watch? Currently, I don't really watch much anymore. Before I did content, I sort of watched a lot more. I watched Plumbella, Steffo Sims, Deligracy, James Turner. Um, who else did I watch? There's other people that I watch, but nobody's springing to mind right now. Who else do I watch? I'm always up for um, people suggesting YouTubers as well. I never know who to watch and I'm a bit like in a rut at the minute we're trying to find people to watch I'm not liking this whatsoever I look like an amateur I swear I build all the time this is the bit where I'd normally cut it out in a video I think that's the good thing with making videos you can easily cut stuff out whereas when you're doing this live you can't do that What should I eat for breakfast? Well, it depends what you've got in and what you enjoy. I don't normally eat breakfast as well. It's not something I have. I always feel sick in the morning. Maybe take it off the platform. You think I shouldn't have it on the platform and have it lower down. And just have it. hardest thing is matching the straight line like that do you think that's better Died. something I do love having though which could be a breakfast meal is avocado on toast I started eating it this year I didn't really like avocado before but add a bit of lime and some like chili and it tastes great I watch them but I see more of their stuff on uh, TikTok and it, it is really funny to watch some of their stuff. I don't think I'm actually subscribed to them on YouTube, I should subscribe to them but I'm, I follow them on TikTok because that's where I first come across them but yeah they're really funny, I really really love them. So big windows, do I go for doing it? larger walls because I want the high ceilings. Maybe go a bit wider. Because uh, I want to use the eco lifestyle windows. I love these windows. They are my favourite. Have you watched my Yes, I love her stuff. My fairies um, challenge that I'm doing where I'm building tiny castles for fairies was based off a lot of the stuff that she does because she does like I think recently she did the Winx Club where she builds a house for each one of the Winx. I, I love her content. I find your Sims Friday is extremely creative. Oh thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Even if you're not a fan, you support her. That, that's fine too. Um, I'm really happy when people are uh, supporting. Wait, I'm using the wrong size. I want these ones. I really wish we had windows that angled with the roof. That would be like amazing. Maybe go for a taller door. to go with these as well instead. Loved your videos, I learned things I didn't know and I haven't been playing Sims since it first started. 
Well, I'm glad I can help teach some things. I'm not, I'm not the best builder. I see some people's builds and they don't have a lot of subscribers. And I wish I could remember names off the top of my head, but I'm really bad at remembering things. There is some incredible builders out there. Like, it, it puts me to shame. I just, I'm more of somebody that likes to figure out weird things that you can't normally have in the game. Um, I think that's really, really fun. And if you saw me trying to build those sort of things, I am there for hours. Maybe something like that. I know we do have a window that follows the arch of a roof, but it's very specific. Could use that one. Maybe this one. It is a lot and I'm surprised that I got this far secret girl like I was so shocked even when I hit my first 10,000 because I've been doing YouTube a long time but I did it on a different channel and I was doing fashion and I've been doing that for years and years before this and I'd only got like 3,000 subscribers so when I started to grow I like I'm so grateful for everybody honestly what do you think of making a build challenge and then re reacting to the builds people made? I'd love to do that. I should make a build challenge. I think that would be good fun. Maybe I could do a shell challenge for people. I have thought about doing that. Would anybody be interested in doing that? I hate that there's a gap here. <laughs> but maybe that's what we've got to go for for this. Roofing wise, I was thinking we could do glass, but then I feel like it'd look weird on the sides. Unless we just did the glass top, but I hate that the ceiling is there otherwise. And do we go for like log cabin look? What do we have? Horse wrench maybe could be good. Will you build a houseboat one day? I built one and it was a lot of fun. Would you like to see it just whenever you have time? I would love to see it. I do have a Discord. I really don't talk in there. I'm really bad with like social media. But if you ever want to like post your builds, you can post your gallery stuff, you can go to my Discord. I don't think it's linked in the description here, but if you link it, it, it is linked in the description in my long form videos. And if you post it on there, I'd be happy to do that. And maybe if I do a future live stream and if people put their gallery names, I can look through your galleries, look through specific houses that you want me to look at. Because I think that would re be really good fun. I'm struggling with building this and answering questions. So maybe looking at people's stuff might be easier for me just for starting out with streaming. Maybe that. Maybe turn the lighting on so people can actually see. But yeah, I do want to build a houseboat. I can't remember if I answered that. I do want to build a houseboat in the future. It's been something I've seen people do and I go, oh, I'd really like to do that. And then I I forget. That. Bring in the eaves. Making pom-poms. Are you doing that with like... Um, yarn like knitting wool um, watch the window at the front yeah like, I really wish you didn't have to see the like floor in here I think that's one of the most annoying things we've got like the main area in here it's just Paint it the same as the outside for now. It's like a really big, just straight area. It's amazing. This is not amazing. It's frog game. I feel like this is the worst build I've ever done, <laughs> but thank you. I'm really not used to building on stream. And when I say, when I film my stuff normally, I film something and I literally delete everything and start again. Have you seen Sims YouTuber Fake Gamer Girl? I have. Um, just fake gamer girl. Yeah, she does quite funny content, I feel like. I'm, I'm trying to make sure I'm remembering the right person. 
Yes, I definitely am. Fair game again. Um, she does a lot of like things where there's weird stuff in the builds and though she's really funny. I enjoy her content quite a lot. I haven't watched her in a while, to be totally honest, but like I said, I haven't watched a lot of people in a while. Like, just because I, I literally don't have time. I'm sat building most of the time. Let's get some lights in here. So what other YouTubers do you guys watch then? Even if it's not Simmers, I need some new people to watch. Don't you feel like I have run out of people to watch? I look at my at home page and I'm like, I've seen this, I've seen this, or I'm not interested in that today. I need more YouTubers to watch. I like fashion stuff, makeup stuff, as well as Sims, gaming. I like quite a lot of stuff. I kind of wonder where I put the bathroom and I'm like, can I put the bathroom with in the ceiling so you can't see it? Not the ceiling, the roof. I have a feeling it won't work because of the walls issue. Oh no, you can. See, I'm figuring out things every day, even I build all the time. I go with like a bandor style. I think it's a bit much. I think. No, it's too old fashioned. I sort of want to go like modern, but not too modern. No, nope, you get that. That would be a great bathroom door with windows where you can see it. <laughs> Maybe I do go with the barn doors. I'm gonna go with the barn doors for now. Look at that dark wood colour. Did I bring a sim here? I think yeah, I did. I just wanted to test whether she could go in this area here. I guess I want a bathroom in here. One thing is I'm not going to be able to block off these sides. Oh well, um, she's got a really big bathroom. Dr. Ashley, I love Dr. Ashley's content as well. Again, it's what somebody I haven't watched in a while, but I do watch her. She inspired me with one of the builds I did a while ago. It was a loft room that was Halloween themed but pastel coloured. I saw her use this wallpaper and I just knew I had to use that wallpaper. I didn't even know it existed, so totally inspired by her. But what's everybody's favourite packs as well? I'd love to know. I don't know if I like the idea of having the bathroom in there, so I might change that. fully windowed side bathroom because it's the sims and it's totally fine. Maybe do like a, a bath that sits in the window but like block it off with curtains. So we can, we, ha we have privacy but it's sims anyway so privacy really does not matter. My favourite curtain to use are these ones from the Desert Looks kit, they are so pretty. The reason I like these as well is because we've got this little piece and putting it in between to make it look like it can be closed. Not the same color. The Japan pack, whatever it was called. Oh, I love that pack, the Snowy Escape. Snowy Escape is one of my favorites. Do you know anything about Pokemon other than Pikachu? I do indeed. Um, I played Pokemon Go for a lot of years, but when I was younger, I used to collect Pokemon cards. I only really know Gen 1 and Gen 2 though, and then I got a little bit too old for any of the other generations. But yeah, I do know a little bit about Pokemon. I've, as I've got older, I haven't really followed it as much, but I did enjoy it a lot when I was younger. See, this was like in a forest 
This might be, I might have, this should have been better built somewhere else, but it's fine, we can move it. Let's pop some tiles in here. We've got something a bit lighter in the bathroom. I think we'll go a bit lighter and then some tiles on the floor. Uh, who's your favourite Pokemon, dear? Because I really love Sylveon. I know Sylveon's from the later generations, but I just think she's a really pretty colour. Like the blues and pink and the white is like my go-to colours. So I love Sylveon for that reason. But other than that, I love Umbreon. I think Umbreon was Gen 2. I love these tiles from Growing Together. I don't really use a lot of Growing Together stuff, but the tiles, like the sheen on them, is so pretty. I really, really like it. What I'm going to do is just a really short fence. I'm going to use this one from Get to Work. Do a different flooring under the bath. I love it when you have like the pebbles under the bath. I think it looks really pretty. Cinderquill, is that Gen, is Gen, Cinderquill Gen 2? Is he that like dark blue and like beige yellow that's on the chest? I'm not going to remember any things, I just remember stuff more like by the look of them. I want a shower in here. Showers are elite. what that one looks like then. I might have to look it up after the stream because I, like I said, I do enjoy Pokemon even though I don't play it as much anymore. Every now and again I will jump on Pokemon Go but it's, it's very rare nowadays. And I need a sink. I told you I'm really bad at multitasking. I've been on for quite a while and I haven't even built a bathroom yet. <laughs> Dream Home Decorator is definitely one of my favourite packs. I love the modern look of it. Do I introduce some lighter woods in here or do I stick with the dark? Maybe that. The medium wood. in here. Can't go without the, the toilet roll. I always find it's hard to get the right height of things on the walls until you like really go really low. That seems like a good height. Do I have a very shiny purple? I don't know actually. Because hmm. I like Umbreon as a shiny because I feel, I'm, if I remember correctly, Umbreon as a shiny has blue and blue's my favourite colour so it has like a blue colour on it. I really just go off the looks of things, nothing else. <laughs> some details on here. I love that they added the toilet roll in the bathroom clutter kit. What's your favourite shiny, dear? I'm okay to call you dear as well, like if you've got a preferred name I will try and remember it, even I've got a bad memory. It's a really good one indeed. Yeah, I love Umbreon. I think Umbreon's my sister's favourite as well. 
I just bought her a Funko Pop for her birthday that was on Brian because I know it's her favourite. Add some towels, maybe go for a white so it stands out. Need a hand towel on the wall. Hand towel. So I want a black towel, but I want the silver to match the silver at the taps. I think that's a sl mm. No, I don't like that. I'm just gonna have to go the white on white, even though I really don't like white on white. Does anybody else add light switches to their build now that it's in one of the kits? I always forget, unless I'm scrolling through at the end, like I've just noticed it and thought, oh, I should really add that. I don't know if I like the way this looks. Maybe if I put plant hanging there. This plant is my favourite plant in the game. A little rug down when you get out of the bath. I want some other than black because it blends in too much. towels on the wall but I don't feel like I've got any space anywhere. Have you seen Ray William Johnson? I have not. What sort of content do they do? Because I would happily check them out. I don't want to put my towel next to the toilet. <laughs> Which is more challenging for you, building the exterior of a house or creating the interior? So at the start, like when I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing, like I said, this took me a few tries to get the right shape. It it takes me a while, but building the ex interior for me is more difficult because it's the layout I struggle with more than anything. I feel like layouts can be really difficult. I try and imagine it like real life, like a lot of houses, your living room is the front room, um, especially here in the UK. It's really weird because I grew up in a house where it was the opposite, the kitchen was at the front of the house. So I had to sort of like reverse my, my whole thing um, to go, that, yeah, that's not how normal houses are. They mostly do, re I love reaction videos. Have you seen um, Charlotte Dobre? She does reaction videos and I love her content. Like she's fantastic. I think I might have done that bathroom too big because I'm like, I forget I've got to build a bedroom. Not going to be a lot of light in here because the only lights are either side. So maybe I do, maybe do a skylight. I'm going to do a skylight in the centre. You too, so you struggle with the interior. I feel like I struggle for a long time. Like I've already pretty much said, it's difficult at the start, but once I've got the exterior going and how I like it, that part's easy. But then the interior, I struggle so hard. And on some builds, you might see that I do the exterior and I say, oh, I'll do the interior as a next video and I don't do it because I'm avoiding doing it. Maybe do it a little bit smaller, not the whole size. Maybe something like that. Hello, is it is it Julka? Is that how you pronounce it? Please tell me if I'm ever pronouncing your names wrong. Don't worry, I'm not going to be offended. I'd like to get your names correct. 
So hello. I had to debate what to do in this little corner because I feel like I've given myself such little space here. Maybe I do a bedroom off the bathroom and have it as an ensuite. And do like a long galley kitchen. Maybe a dining room at the end. Moon Catty. Hello, Moon Catty. Hi, welcome into the stream. Trying to figure out an airframe house right now. I was suggested to do this and I've never done an airframe house. So it's, it's a little bit of a challenge for me. Let's find a bed. This is so dark compared to how I normally build. I do like the dark and moody look, but I don't often build the dark and moody style. Which bed? Why did I only now realize that deer sounds exactly like deer? It, it does indeed, deer sounds like deer. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I'm calling you Dia in that other way instead of like that. I get what you mean, that's quite funny. Are you happy called Dia though? I'm happy to call you Dia if if that's what you prefer. I, I don't mind. Hello CJ or Cam. <laughs> How are you doing? Yes, I'm correct, it's Jilka. Really difficult as an English person seeing names that don't like stereotypically sound because they're you are from other countries and trying to pronounce them is really difficult but I love hearing people's names like especially when they're very different I love a unique name my real name is so boring so that's why I prefer just to be called Storm but if you ever find out my real name please still refer to me as Storm I really hate my real name so always call me Storm <laughs> oh, Cam's, yeah Cam's here I'm here to disrupt the place. I go for like that is too big. Does anybody else find the side tables in The Sims are just overly big? I am well, had a cold during the week, but I ran it off and now I'm better. Oh, that's good. I'm glad you're feeling better. Since you don't often build in the dark, and we decide what is your favourite style. I tend to, I've got like two distinct styles that I really love doing. So the Danish pastel style, so a lot of pastel colours alongside that very light wood modern, but then fantasy style I really enjoy as well. So it's like two total opposite styles, but I love doing both. I want to use these, but this is going more modern. Disrupt <laughs> never. Sorry, right, Cam, you might go get a bath in a minute anyway, since that's what you normally do. I feel like the stuff from the Horse Ranch pack works quite well, that sort of dark and moody style. And these are a good size compared to a lot of the side tables. Yes, too big, you agree. Honestly, some of them are, are huge. Like, why are they this big? Side tables are normally a little bit more dainty. And I like to size them down, but then things don't sit on top of them. So then you have to do that little trick where you raise them up and then they never sit quite right. It's super annoying. Um, let's see what wardrobe we're looking for. See, this doesn't work in this style here because of the shape. I feel like we need something quite straight line. Could use one of these, create an interesting shape outside. I love the built-in wardrobes. That is too red. Gonna be in the way. I'm gonna have to stick it through the wall otherwise. Actually, I don't mind the idea of it sticking out a little bit. Cam is the bath man. He comes from down your way. <laughs> an excellent song. What I'm going to do to sort of make this look a little bit separate is put a spandrel across here and 
draw a wall, wall in. And it sort of makes the room look a little bit more divided. Oh, thank you, Can. Yeah, it's wild at how fast it grew. I want it's thanks to the shorts the shorts do really well and I just massively grew from them let's start a little kitchen here and it's sort of gonna be a galleyway kitchen because we've only got this thin area I'll go back and add details later I usually do that at the end I feel like it's all looking too much of the same colour and I really do, don't like that, even in here. Maybe we add a different wall somewhere. Maybe the central walls in a basic white for now. I like to paint things fully white sometimes because then I find it easier to go back in and change them but you can really see what you need to change. 50 minutes, is that how long I've been going? Yeah, it has gone fast. It only feels like I've been going like 20 minutes. Do you like that? I love landscaping. Landscaping is one of my favorite things to do. I just, I feel like it brings a build alive. I used to not like it that much and then I sort of learned a few tips from a few YouTubers. I can't remember who's I watched. I was just clicking on random videos on how to improve. And, and yeah, I don't like the white either. And yeah, I've improved massively with my landscape now. I just really enjoy it. I don't like structured la landscaping. So when I did Tamlin's Manor, it's very structured because you're keeping everything really clean. I like it when things are a bit more overgrown or you've got like a nice curvy path, that sort of thing. I think it looks a lot nicer. I've never been to like a log cabin, so I'm trying to think of what sort of walls would be in a log cabin other than the logs. Shorts are very good. I think people use it like TikTok in that way. The TikTok style platform with the Insta Reels, YouTube Shorts is very popular. Has been for years and you found your niche. Yeah, I grew really fast on TikTok um, to start with. And I, I was just uploading to YouTube and TikTok at the same time because you could just upload the same content. But with TikTok now, you don't get paid unless you upload a video that's longer than a minute. So I have to edit two videos and sometimes have to just double the video to make it longer than a minute, which is so annoying that you have to do that. But when this is your like job, you have to do that. And I see other people doing it as well, especially simmers that I follow. Can't get the landscaping down, but I'm still working on it. You'll get it. You will get it. Do you like drawing and painting? I do. I used to draw and paint a lot more. Now I do more stuff on my PC. I just realised I'm not doing anything in the game. But yeah, I do a lot more things on my PC. So I draw on things online. I've got a graphics tablet, which I draw on. Nope, don't like that. Um, and I, But yeah, I used to love painting. I wish I could get back into it again. But it's just, it's so time consuming and I've said this in a lot, of, I, I feel like I say it in every single video, I get bored really fast, so if I do something more than a couple of hours I need a break from it and then I forget about it and I do that with my builds quite often as well. So I never go back to a paint and I've started stuff, Toast will tell you, I have started painting stuff for him previously and then never finished what I was doing. I'm not liking anything. I'm just gonna go back to this for now and I'll change it later. I'm gonna put tiles in the kitchen because that makes sense. I am still doing my Etsy cards. I don't advertise it here. I have briefly said in previous videos I do do it. The reason I don't advertise that I do Etsy is because I have to put my address on it and I don't want people to know my address so I can't advertise it which is super annoying but I do have to put my return address. Maybe that. 
what do you think about adding a pond to this build? Oh yes, definitely. I think it'll suit this build. This build does not suit where it is. If this was in like Granite Falls or I think where else it'd work. Just Granite Falls, I think. I think it'd make a great vacation home. Might not do it the entire way, but I'm gonna do it for now. But yeah, I think I will add, add a pond to this build. Add a fridge. I do love these from Horse Ranch. Add a fire, yes, a fireplace would work so well in here. Might put it here and have the living room here. I will do that when I get to it. Fireplace is a good idea. I always forget about fireplaces. I feel like they're, they're not hidden because you click that on the thing and it, it's right there. They're not hidden, I just forget about them. as well because it's like when you can't think of what else to put in there I think the pond looks really good and as always in almost every single one of my builds I will be adding fireflies because they are my favorite thing ever in this game and I need end piece I need a sink. How did I almost forget about a sink? I remember today my sim lit a fireplace that was near a carpet and I'm like, I hate that the heart is over the words. Hell oh, nah, you're not going to arson today. Honestly, I don't know why the rate of setting things alight with fireplaces is so high. The Sims need to change that. The name is Julia and Julka is diminutive. Right. So would you prefer to go by Julia? Because I can call you that. And I will remember, I promise. <laughs> I say I promise, I will forget. My memory is the worst. I'm better at like, instead of words, I'm gonna remember in images. So like people's profile pictures stand out to me more than anything. Do I like that in peace? There's enough space to get through there. I don't know if I like this little bit now. I feel like something else should be here, but I'm not sure what yet. I'll come back to it. I will come back to it. Some kitchen cabinets. What infuriates me about the kitchen cabinets is there's a lot of the normal cabinets that don't have a matching cabinet. Your memory is bad too. What happened to all the games that are like The Sims that have used to come out? Gone a bit quiet. I've noticed that lately. I saw something from Paralives not long ago. But I haven't heard much and I played Viva Land. Like yeah, Viva Land, which is currently just building, but they are introducing other parts of the game where you can like do the life sim style of thing. And that was really good fun, but it is really difficult to build in currently, but they are in early access, which is what happens. And currently it's it is free on Steam. I'm not advertised to say this by the way. If you want to try, v it's called Viva Land Dream Decorator, I think. I think it's called Dream Decorator. But I played that and it is a little bit difficult to build it, but once you start to get the hang of it, it is really good fun. And I just like the fact that it's free currently on Steam. Could you call me Emma when referring to me? Because I feel like it was like, yes, that's not a problem, Emma. I love the name Emma, it's such a pretty name. I 
if I ever call you by the wrong name as well, literally tell me. Just yell at me and I, I will get it eventually. <laughs> I recognize a lot of your I do recognize some people's names in here but I recognize your profile pictures from commenting on my videos so thank you to everybody that comments I, I've said this before as well I repeat myself a lot if I don't reply to you sometimes it's not because I like hate you or anything I'm just really bad at replying to comments I'll reply to the odd one or two but I suffer with social anxiety so talking to people isn't my strong point which is why I was so scared to stream um, but I'm quite happy I have. I'm, I'm enjoying this so far. I'm only going to go for another like hour or so just because I don't want it to be too much and I do also need to cook my tea and um, by cooking my tea I mean, I mean dinner because I'm from the north of the UK we do say tea for dinner. We don't mean like a cup of tea. Hello Michael, welcome into the stream. By the way, how is everybody doing? I think a few people, I asked this earlier and a few people did answer, but I just want to know, is, if, is everyone having a good day? What's the weather like where you are? Because here it's still nice and sunny, the sun keeps going behind the clouds trying to hide, but it, but it, it keeps popping through. I might go for a little square table. Let's go with the dark wood. <laughs> he had brekkie when he woke up at midday. <laughs> I fell asleep watching Toast Blog stream last night. I was so tired. It was like before midnight. I don't know what time he streamed till, but it was late. I'm doing very good, it's sunny and one of the hotter days in spring so far. Where abouts are you from? You don't obviously have to tell me exactly but what sort of place in the world are you from? Like are you, more, are you in America? Are you are somewhere in Europe? Because it's still not warm here. My favourite expansion pack. My favourite expansion pack is high school years I love it so so much and again repeating myself from every single video it's because I only really build and I love the build items I dipped at 12 30 I should wonder what time you finished I don't even know I don't even know if I've asked I have a feeling it'd been most probably around 4 a.m. Yeah, the main reason I like high school years is the colours are really, really pretty. The pastel colours. Europe near the Baltic Sea. Ah. Uh, I'm not liking any of the chairs. Maybe I'll go with the ones from Snowy Escape and go really basic. I sort of want something a little bit more modern, so it's like modern old style I don't even know what style <laughs> I'm going for maybe this with a darker wood dark enough maybe that with the blue and it ties in the bit of blue of tile back there let's see what this looks like with theme here splitting this up. Never got high school years, I thought it looked similar to the uni expansion. It's I feel like it's much probably similar gameplay in a way, because you're going off to school or university, but their decor style is very different. With high school years, it went very much more art deco and a little bit of modern. But uni, I 
feel like it had a bit more vintage style to it because I feel like it went very much British university especially like Oxford sort of style so it's like a little bit more older style what's your favourite season? 100% summer I hate being cold so much cold is horrible so living in the north of the UK it is cold all of the time and I hate it Hello, is it Sonal? Please tell me if I'm saying your name correct. I will gladly say it differently if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Thank you very much for, I don't know what it's called. Is it called a super chat? A donation? I don't know what it's called on YouTube, but thank you so much for that. That's very nice of you. I've never had one before, so you're my first person giving me a, a little donation through YouTube. is so now fantastic maybe i could do a breakfast bar here i don't know if it like fit in quite right let's give it a try just in case no it's gonna stick up too far right cam mentioned to do a fireplace we're doing a fireplace since i'm sticking a lot with the horse ranch pack is there a horse ranch fireplace? No, there is not. Is there anything that'd fit the style? I don't know if the I like the brick actually. The brick in the log cabin is quite nice. Trying to get your own donation, but pretty soon. Well, hopefully you get one. Those is autumn, it's still warm. Most of the creepy crawlers have disappeared. I will agree with you on that. I hate creepy crawlies. <laughs> they are horrible i don't mind spiders weirdly enough but if honestly centipedes are my worst nightmare and there's so many of them in the summer here i hate them so much and wood lice i don't know if everywhere calls them wood lice i feel like they're called like roly polies in the us i hate them with a vengeance they are the worst thing ever so i agree with on that I just don't like cold. If the UK was a bit warmer in autumn, I think I would like autumn. But the UK is pretty much cold all year round, other than for like a week in the summer. And that is my favorite week. I don't care if it's scorching hot, I, l I really love it being really warm. Maybe go with this couch. I don't think I've ever used this couch. I might go with that as well, because I've got the little bit of blue, like the deeper blue over here and on the wall here. To try and introduce another colour, because it's just all one colour at the minute. Maybe we could go for a blue chair as well. go with blue. Want a really deep blue. None of these are working for me right now. That's too modern. Maybe that's too modern. Maybe I'm not feeling the couch and that's what it is. <laughs> I do like this couch, I just feel like I can't ever get it in. I think it's very contemporary and I don't build contemporary builds a lot. I feel like I should to push me out of my comfort zone. I do enjoy being pushed out of my comfort zone sometimes, but I feel like I need Pinterest to look up different things. Pinterest is like my go-to if I ever need an idea. I search through Pinterest and I'll take multiple ideas and bring them into one and change them slightly. Highly recommend looking through Pinterest or even Google at images to get an idea. Still got blue selected. I'm going to be so boring and use the couch that I use in every build. It comes in that blue colour that I like. Maybe a lighter blue or the, dark, the darker blue works better. I love these couches from Dream Home Decorator and it's why it's one of my favourite packs because they have the modular sofas. No, 
I just read you put in cheers for the super chat toast and I read cheese and I was like why has he put cheese? <laughs> no you put cheers, I just can't read. I love an L shaped sofa, just sitting in that corner, best thing ever. Add a rug but not too close to the fireplace or the sims playing in this will definitely set themselves alight. I want something like a whitey creamy colour to go with everything. Gander through these. I'm going to stick with that I think. Actually I don't like the wood colour on this. Maybe go with the dark so it matches a little bit. I don't want the stones to match though. That's better. Cheese and cheese. Cheese is amazing. I love cheese. <laughs> Maybe something really basic. I just want something a little bit lighter to bring some light in here because it's so dark currently. I think. Maybe this one. It's not as big. I'm going with more of a creamy colour. How close can I get to this fireplace without setting the place on fire? That always is the question in the same. on this wall maybe I do an office space Where did I... maybe I flip that but then the office space can go more here I love this one from crystal creations Sim, hi, I love your tutorials. Are you going to do some of them on YouTube too? Thank you so much. And um, do you mean on my streams? I could do that. Today I'm not, I'm just building this. Um, but I've enjoyed streaming so far, so I will definitely do another stream. And hopefully I'll have a camera then or something. At the minute my camera just keeps disconnecting, so I've turned it off. But I would happily do tutorials on stream if somebody loves like I need you to explain this more and try going more in depth for you and Emma said have you ever played Minecraft I briefly played it on my sister's iPad oh, so long ago honestly it was so long ago I can't remember when it was it was when I was still living at home which is a long time ago because I am old and I couldn't get into it I don't know if it was because I was doing it on the iPad and I've never had an iPad or anything like that. I've always played on PC. But maybe I have to try it. Do you play Minecraft, Emma? Because maybe like maybe it's something that I might have to start playing with other people to try and get into because people seem to enjoy it and it's weird I've been sort of pushed Minecraft tutorial videos lately on Instagram Reels. And some of the stuff that people can do on there, I'm like, that's really cool. It's sort of the thing I like in The Sims. Tracy, hi, it's great to see you live building in The Sims. I'm a big fan. I hope you do this regularly. Good luck. Thank you so much, Tracy. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm still a nervous wreck inside. Um, I'm an anxious person, so going live was something that I wanted to do because I've always wanted to do it, but it is nerve wracking. But like I said, I'm enjoying it, so hopefully I can do this more. I just feel like I'm not doing a good job at the building on stream. It's really difficult to keep an eye on the chat and build. I don't know how people do this. People do this regularly and they can do it so easy. And then there's me over here just struggling. Let's bring that blue into here as well. I don't want like a big bulky PC on here so I might just add a laptop, but I feel like Sims builds need some form of computer. 
yeah, I play Minecraft. I'm still learning to be a builder. I'm Minecraft though. It's been a little hand to get inside and outside of a house to work. So it's so difficult to see when the heart over the words. That heart on YouTube will be the death of me. I mod for Toast. If you didn't know, Toast also he streams and makes videos. If you enjoy dinosaur stuff, he makes art videos. Check him out. Um, and when I'm modding for him, that little heart at the bottom right gets in the way of the last person that's wrote in the chat and it's so annoying. I hope they move it soon. Yeah, I might have to try Minecraft then eventually. But I think I will because so many people play it and I feel like as somebody that enjoys building, I feel like it would be good fun to try. Can't you pop the chat out? Uh, I most probably can. Don't ask me to do that while I'm streaming though because I have no idea. <laughs> I had to ask Toast to come and help me earlier. My audio wasn't even on so there would have been no audio if he didn't come and help me because I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to streaming. I streamed once before on Twitch and it was so much easier to set up. As YouTube it was so difficult there's so much more you have to do so I found it really really difficult to set up oh, this bookcase from Crystal Creations I love it so much I'm say I could go with the blue color but I don't think it quite works I hate that the wood tones don't quite match Minecraft is fun if you watch a bit of YouTube about it before because a lot of mechanics are hard to figure out without outside maps. Right, right. right I'll definitely take that. The future ref on YouTube is the three dots on the YouTube chat. Right. Got it. I'll do that next time before stream. But for now, I'm just going to have to struggle. I keep having to hover over the heart. So then the hundred goes over it, so I can see what people are saying. It's just that last word. I don't know why they don't move the heart. I might have to make a suggestion to my YouTube shorts manager. She might be able to put something forward to somebody higher up. I feel like all I'm doing is just this, so apologies if I'm just shaking around. Let's add some light in here. Currently I just have these dotted about. The tiny saucer, I can't remember what it's called now. The subtle saucer light. I always put it down at the start of builds so I can see what I'm doing. Then I remove them later when I've found which lighting I want to use. I want a little lamp for on here. I go with a candle. I find it hard with the style to find things that go with it, like with this sort of thing. I think it's the difficult thing about designing in a style that you've not done. Oh, I like this. This is also from Crystal Creations. I'm liking this pack more than I thought I would. I did like the look of it, but I was like, would it be worth the money to somebody that wasn't gifted it? And now I'm thinking yes, because there's a f good few items that I really love using from this pack. Um, also, I still have to say this every now and again and I keep forgetting, this stream is technically an ad because I have been gifted packs from the EA Creator Network, but I am not paid to do this stream. Again, UK laws, I have to say that periodically throughout my stream, it's so annoying that we now have to do that. They're, they're like getting really strict on it, especially because a lot of TikTok creators aren't disclosing when things are ads. Because uh, when you're gifted something, it is classed as an ad or a sponsorship, even though you're not get given any money. And it is pretty annoying, but it's what we've got to do. Is that the right style? Yeah, I don't think it is. That's more islandy looking. Let's go somewhere with plants. 
You love my build, oh, thank you so much. You wouldn't think it by what I'm doing today, but I'm sort of a decent builder normally. I feel like today, not a good builder. Oh yeah, it's really daft. I have to list every single Sims video, even if I'm just using the base game, which I paid for. I paid for like 95% of my packs. Like I've only just become an EA creator. I still have to disclose it as an ad even if I'm not using a gifted pack because the UK government and other governments now see it as a whole game so even if you're gifted like one five pound kit you have to list it as an advert. It's really really annoying but it's what we've got to do. Christmas is now an ad. I'm reminded of when I give presents. You've got a good point there. If a friend gifts me something if my friend gifts me a game, do I then have to say it's an ad? Because they gifted me it? I like your channel. Thank you so much, NDMC. You have my sub. Oh, thank you. Before you mentioned that you've been gifted four Sims packs by ear. That's why it's an ad, though. Which pack were those? So my first pack that I was gifted, ooh, I've just hit my mic, sorry if you heard that. My first pack that I was gifted was for rent. Um, and I got that as early access. So basically the way it works, I can tell you all this because it's to do with the UK government, nothing else, is the way it works. If you're gifted something and given early access, back then you just had to label your early access stuff as sponsored or an ad, whereas they've changed it now. After then, I can't remember what it was, was the two kits, the castle estate kit, the goth kit and the crystal creation stuff pack are the only packs I've been gifted. If my miss missus buys a takeover, <laughs> I'm sponsored by Justy. Yeah exactly, that's how it works nowadays. <laughs> it's, it's so silly. I don't know why they've got I get why they've got strict but not this strict like I know like TikTok people it's mainly TikTok don't disclose ads so I get why they've got to be a bit more strict but it's like the little person like the smaller creators like myself and others get affected most because these big creators still aren't disclosing and then we disclose and people don't want to click on our videos because we think we're getting paid we're not getting paid How are you getting on with the Akhtar books and any other related builds in the works? So I have, I think I've got like two chapters left of the fourth book. Is it Frost and Starlight? I'm really bad at remembering and I don't have the book in here because it's on my nightstand. I'm pretty sure it's Frost and Starlight. I've got like two chapters of that left. And I haven't, I started doing the Moon Palace, but there's not a lot of descriptions in the book of it. There's very like brief descriptions of like Fera's room and like the bit where Resand always is. So I started it and I was like, I just can't get it to come to, to life. So I stopped doing that. Um, but I think my next build may be the house that they are building. Cause I, I do know that they're building a house together. So it might be that build because it's another one where it's not going to be huge and then work on the big builds like the House of Wind and the Moon Palace. But I'm trying to like put stuff together in my head. Wait, so how are the big YouTubers getting away with not mentioning that as an ad? So because it's sort of a new thing, like we've only just been told all this um, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll be okay to say this, but obviously there'll be the government will contact Ian but like people aren't disclosing and then we've been told we've got to disclose some people might not have seen that we've got to do that and then there's other people that just depending on the country you're in is a little bit different as well so here in the UK we have to put ad at the start of the description or the title if you are in America you don't have to put that you just have to put hashtag EA partner so they, you can, it's not getting away with it because they're doing the correct thing by doing that. But here in the UK, it's a little bit more strict 
with the laws so there's also that and again some of the bigger youtubers haven't even seen it they might not have seen the message that EA have sent them or emailed them however they have emailed like messaged them I don't know how they would have but they'll almost probably get told eventually if they've not seen it or find the message eventually it's crazy it's like they earn you for giving you a few chairs exactly this is the annoying thing like in this build the only thing that i've been gifted is the stuff from crystal creation so this and this little lamp here uh, i think that's all i've used from crystal creations and because of those two items i've got to say it's an ad and even if i didn't use those two items i've got to say it's an ad i think I, do i sort these around I like the ladders against the wall, so I might swap those. I need to get back to building. I keep talking too much. Your builds are amazing. Thank you so much. You really wouldn't think so with how my build looks today. It looks terrible. I feel like most of my builds look terrible for a while and then it all comes together in the end. It's like a trust the process thing. How is this going to work? I wanted to put my, what I'm going to do, I want to put my um, TV on the top of here. I'm just removing those walls so I can put the TV here. That's too big. And then drawing my walls back in. I would cut all this stuff out normally in my speed builds, but you're seeing everything. really not liking the white walls unless I do something no I don't like that either oh. maybe I just have it all wood and add some art to the walls to make it look a bit brighter it's already come together though oh thank you I'm trying as somebody that's never done an airframe build <laughs> I'm really bad. I'll test things. Even if I'm doing a, a bigger build, I might test the shape of it before I do the recorded build. So doing this live, you're seeing me struggle a lot. also like to do is go through all these like options to make sure I've got everything like usually I forget a bin today I remember to put a bin in but I'll like check all these things to make sure I've got it all in like I need to add more curtains on here I want to make it look like you could close it right across the full door so going in with those same curtains I used before really dark, I might have to add more lighting. I knew it wasn't going to line up. Is that overlap? Oh, that one's not at the end, that's why it's overlapping. I hate when it snaps to the windows. I don't want it to snap to the windows. Like that. Okay, let's sort the lighting out because I feel like I can't see, never mind you. I've still got my big light on me for doing my camera and I haven't turned it off, so I'm blind. <laughs> Another little trick I like doing is still using the subtle source of light because the lighting's really good and just sizing it down really small and placing it within the other light. So you're getting the nice lightness of this little source of light but using the pretty lights that are in the game. Is this coming a longer swatch? I might change to a longer swatch. The light comes down more. 
think I'm starting to like it. It's so weird, I've never built something that's just fully straight, but I feel like that makes sense for the A-frame. But I have to do something outside, and I'm not sure what yet. The part of me really wants oops, to put it on tilts. Get rid of those florins now. I'm gonna try it out, put it on stilts. There is stilts in the base game as well, which is cool. I like the ones from Snow You Skip best though, I think. And then, have it look like it's stood on the frame. Like that. Oops. Move that to the correct place. This side gonna be messed up, yep. And make sure. The reason for this is I sort of want to create a pond going around the bottom. Which room is not here trying to make them all a foundation. There we go. Something like this. I feel like that looks looks okay. And I'm gonna have to add a little front area here. Hello Judea. Thank you, Emily. We will get there. I think I'm liking it more now. I I'm getting there. Put that way. And add some stairs coming down. That's too light. And now we're gonna pick a fence. My favourite fence to use in this sort of style of build is like the glass fence. It's like modern so it brings that modern style out where it's like somebody is transformed an older building to look modern i will do the pond i do promise i haven't finished the inside yet but i need a break from the inside so maybe i'll add the pond in a second maybe i'll go with black for the... i'm gonna go with the wood This is not the right lot to build it on. Move it over here. I'm gonna do the pond around the front. I'm not sure where to put the pond. I don't want it too near the house. Do like a long one just around the front. Do this for now. Fill it up, see what it looks like. Whoa, I don't want to fill it that full. Right, it looks like nothing at the minute, but it will start to look better. What I'm going to do is add some stones and some plants around the edge. I always feel like that makes the pond look so much better. Like you might look at it and go, that looks terrible. It's again one of those things where it's like trust the process. I'm gonna have to use tool mod mush probably for this, which I don't like using um, a lot of the times because a lot of people can't use it. But you can still download and have the tool mod stuff on, so it's fine. But I'm gonna lower all these. There's ways to get around lowering these without tool mod you have to put them in the basement but it's so time consuming i don't have time to do that on the stream you can see just floating as i hate terrain with items because you just get floating items and it's really annoying these are also my favorite stones to use they either come in vampires or this one's from Outdoor Retreat. They're the exact same stones. It's really annoying that Debug sometimes has the same items no matter what pack you're from. I like these ones because you can fill in loads of space really fast. Let's 
that. And now for some tool mod to lure these down. What do you think about doing base game build next stream? I could try it. I like to challenge. I like the challenge, and I've always struggled with just doing base game because I feel like there's so little items in styles that I normally build. But I am happy to do the challenge. We're all selected. One. Let's see. Let you to go a bit lower. Tiny bit more and then fill in any gaps with plants. I think that's okay. But yeah, I'm happy to do a base game one. Maybe next stream. I'll sort of do a bit more planning for my next stream. I was just so unsure for this one. I might even do like a poll on the community page so you guys can vote on what you would like. I'll take some ideas from what you've told me in this stream. So like a few people said about looking at other people's builds and doing a base game stream about doing a houseboat and I will do a poll of that at some point if I remember. If I don't, yell at me. <laughs> Just yell at me all the time when I forget things and it will be drummed into my brain eventually. I like the either. I don't think I've ever used this before, but this is base game. This is quite nice. Um, let's raise that up a little bit. There's another item I really like using. Whereabouts is it? This is also why I like doing videos. You, I can cut out me just scrolling through the catalog for two hours. Because that's what I do, trying to find stuff half the time. I know uh, this is an ad stream, I like it. What? I'm guessing that's a joke and for some reason my brain's not registering it to us. <laughs> There's the item I'm looking for. I feel like this comes in base game. Well, I've picked up the one that's from Cottage Living. I love this because it looks like it's been pushed into the water from the rocks. And there's another item very similar to it. That's a different shape. So you can get different shapes from it as well. build by mod which shows me all of the stuff that is in the debug menu so my catalogue is always so cluttered. Is that floating? Yep. Can't be bothered to faff about with the floating thing again. I've done enough with tool mod today. I want to use outdoor retreat stuff. I love these. I think this suits this sort of style like cabin in the woods look. It'd be better if I didn't delete it. I'm still gonna have to use tool mod because look at that floating. It's horrible. <laughs> I wish you could lower items, like you can lower items when you've raised them up. I wish there was an option to lower items further down, I don't know why there isn't. Oops, too small. Let's lower these down. Where do you recommend to get mod like the tool mod? So tool mod 
if you search for Twisted Mexi, um, he's the person that created the tool mod. If you just search up Twisted Mexi tool mod, you'll find it on his Patreon. You don't have to pay or anything, it's free, but you download it from there. And he's very trustworthy. I'm in his Discord and everything. And if there's an update for it, because every time there's a pack, he has to update his mods. He also did the Better Build Buy mod. He also does the mod for the cheats always being turned on. These are cheats that I really love because it's like, it doesn't affect me when making tutorials. It just makes my life easier, especially at Better Build Buy. I don't have to put the cheat in and I can find all the debug stuff. So if you can get mods, I do recommend looking up Twisted Mexi's mods. I have a tutorial. What is it a tutorial? I don't know if it's a tutorial or just me talking about the mods somewhere on my channel. I did it a while ago, so I don't know where it'll be on my page. But I mainly use Twisted Mexi. I don't think I use any other mods other than Twisted Mexi and the MC cheats. They're the only mods that I normally use. I have other mods installed currently because I'm I want to do a let's play that is based around fairies. So I downloaded loads of fantasy style mods to be able to do that. And I haven't tried any of them out yet, so I'm excited to try them. I downloaded the fairies versus witches mod and I'm excited to try that. You need a path. Oh, I'm still get rid of that. Do I want to go rocky or do I want to go like a dirt path? How far can I move this back? I might move everything back a little bit. I'm going to move these. I'm going to delete some stuff. I know it is. <laughs> Fine. I'll have to put them back in. Oh no, it has. That's good. Do you have a favourite animal? If so, then what is it? My favourite animal is a wolf, but I also really love rabbits. But yeah, wolf's like my, my top animal. I think it's because I, I love dogs. And obviously dogs come from wolves, so I just really love them. I wish I had a wolf. Thank you. Thank you, Snack. Right now let's put in some flooring. Maybe do the pine, um, precious pine covering since we have some pine trees. Popping in a little bit. Do you have a favorite animal, Emma? Love to know. I, I love to know about people. I am really nosy. <laughs> Also, one thing that really annoys me about The Sims is if you want like a path coming off the lot, it just goes to a straight line. Uh, is your favourite animal also a wolf or is it the rabbit? Both are favourite, but if it's a wolf, that's cool. I think my sister's favourite animal is also a wolf. She has a, a tattoo of a, a wolf on her foot, so I feel like she's more, more into it than I am. <laughs> I'm going to save this lot into my library because I want to move it. I don't like where it is and it's throwing me off. And I'm going to go move it to another lot. also a little tip if you did not know these wells existed because a lot of people don't is if you go to the top left if you have some of the packs you'll have destination worlds so you can I don't think you can build in Batu. I don't think you can unless it's a cheat I've never built in there I don't want to build in Batu. not my favorite pack but Silver Dorada and Granite Falls are in here so you can build in here and I believe you can only build 
vacation lots. My brain blanked then, but yeah, you can only build, build vacation lots here. I'm gonna build here. Let's remove this lot and place down what I'm doing, because then I feel I can fit in the rest of the lot around it. The world around it, not the lot. Actually, because my fave animal is a wolf, my fave mythical creature is a Fenrir. I don't feel like I've heard of a Fenrir, but I... Fenrir, the sound of it gives me, I don't know why, it gives me like fox sort of vibes. I don't know if it's just because of the word Fenix, but Fenix Fox. Could be wrong. Again, I'll have to look up Fenrir because I love fantasy style things. Star Wars is the best pack, especially with a certain mod where I made Ray become a druid actor. <laughs> I can guess what mod they are on about. <laughs> oh, some of the mods are wild in The Sims. Oh god, right. Now I need to go to my library and download my lot. Let's place this in the world. Finished. And I feel like it should fit in here a lot better. It does, it does. I don't like where my path is going. Trying to get it to go around the pond, I feel like maybe I should have had it going around this way, but the roof isn't working. Can I slightly change the roof angle? And I'm gonna have to make this more pointy, maybe. Trying to get the angles of the roofs to match is annoying. I'm gonna have to change this as well. Fenrir's are, if I remember correctly, just a bigger, fluffier, stronger wolves. Then they're my favourite mythical creature too. <laughs> that sounds awesome. to do a path around here and I could do some like seating or something over here. So I need the terrain paint. Let's just get rid of you for now. Thank you Toast. I felt like the centre part needed more lighting. The thing I hate is you can see the top of the walls. There's not really much you can do about that with the glass roof thing. But I wanted some light getting in here because these side walls don't have any light because of the way the roof's placed. First line then about first learned about them in a manga, thought it was just the manga creators created a creature, then I saw a deeper explanation of it on Pinterest and I realised it's an actual mythological creature. That's really cool, yeah, I've never heard of that, like I've heard of like dire wolves, which are like larger sort of wolves, but I've not heard of them so I, I'm really interested to look them up. in it. 
area over here. Not that big. Put these around the edge. And then that's for outdoor seating. Could do it on a little deck. Could do it on a deck. Sure. We'll do a circle deck. Not circle rooms are the bane of my existence. They are the worst things ever. But they look so good. They're just a pain to decorate. I feel like it'll be alright for just a seating area. Maybe this is too small. Maybe I need to do it bigger. Maybe do it a bit more octagonal and then put it on stilts use the same flooring let's add a fence mm, I feel that's too high Maybe go for this one so it's like looks like it fits in with the logs and it's a little bit more handmade. And then just copy these steps. So up to here. A fire pit would look good. That would look good. Would a fire pit work on here? I feel like it. I might fire pit, it would burn wood, but I might at the same time, I'm like, it's fine, it's the sims. Everything burns down anyway. <laughs> I just looked at Fenrir up and saw the question, what is it? The god, and I checked, and it's the god of forces and evil and chaos. That sounds like I'd like it too. <laughs> we love chaos here. I feel like I can never find fire pits. I don't know what they're under. So I'm going to select this fire pit and then copy it. And then the rest will pop up. Right, doing outdoor activities. Having debug on here sometimes is really annoying because it's just fishing signs. Are they all just further down? I might add a swing set out here. Maybe this one, because it's like built out of logs. Go for like a darker wood. Maybe put that here. Move the tree. We'll put some like plants and some stuff around the floor as well. stuff out so I can see them. That's a bonfire. I might do a bonfire but I out on the grass because that makes more sense than on wood. Or we could do just a little fire. Fire pit. Also remember the manga I originally saw it in. Yeah I'm waiting for the season two right now. Right. I don't um like read any manga or anything like that my sister does I used to watch anime a lot I haven't watched any in a long time I used to love watching anime I just haven't found anything interesting I really wanted to watch Sailor Moon because I've never seen it but trying to watch Sailor Moon in the UK honestly impossible I was searching for hours not on the junk one maybe I go with this one from the little campus kit what makes sense? What colours do we have? Maybe go for the black. Since we go for that dark colour. But I might keep the bonfire back here as well. So what um, manga is it? Do I need to get into manga as well? I feel like I'd have too many hobbies then. And I'd get nothing done. <laughs> but 
find a seat. Wait for the campfire, maybe we do the logs. But then more actual seating on the platform. I can't find a chair I like. Is that too modern? Maybe that in the dark colour. I like the way I've literally only put like a double bed in here, but we've got like five seats. You can invite friends for the night and you can sleep in a tent. Right, for the swings, another little tip all these tips in every now and again is under each swing maybe that's too harsh maybe soften your terrain and have like a little bit of this under each chair because under a swing where your feet are you would also get this and then I also like to go around the bottom of the pine trees the pine trees not palm totally different tree so around the base of them add some dirt I'll also add some plants around the base of them as well. Anywhere where you think you'd like have like steps to walk into. Sort of coming together. Check. I'll go for like a dirty pond. I'm not sure what type of pond to go for. Maybe I'll just go for normal and add the, my own stuff in the pond detail. Is your sister younger or older than you? And also, do you think she'll appear in future videos? Um, she's, I've got three sisters technically. I've got a stepsister and two younger sisters. Not all younger. Um, I am the oldest sister. I've got an older brother, but she most probably won't be in videos of me because I don't live anywhere near my family anymore. Um, I moved away a long time ago. I'm going to see them next weekend. So there won't be a stream next weekend. Um, I will be doing most my streams most probably on Saturdays and Sundays but since I'm going to visit them next week I will not be here but yeah I am I'm not gonna tell you how old I am but I am a millennial that's all I'll say and my sister's Gen Z but we're so we're, we're very close in age though and um, we have very similar interests we both love reading we both love anime I just never got into manga that's the only thing big difference Thank you so much, it's Frog Game. Uh, do I add some lily pads in here? Add these ones because these have the fish under them. Nice down ones. Here, like, I literally go a couple of centimeters to the side and it pops up so it's not in the water anymore. Get your act together, Sims. What else do I need in my pond? Other than fireflies, because I know I need those. Could add some steam, but I don't feel like I want to add steam to this. Let's add my fireflies. I will at the end show you this in lid mode so you can see like the fireflies around the place as well. I have definitely got to add some more like bushes and stuff around here. It's looking way too empty for being in the forest. And outdoor 
treat since we're in that world. I want to use a lot of the stuff from this world. Ah, I love this tree with these on it, but I feel like it's just going to get in the way because it's so big. Even if I size it down. This is at the back of the build, it's not going to be too bad. No, it's too big. As much as I love it. Maybe add ducks to the pond too. Yes, I love my ducks. Especially Mr. Ducksworth. Mr. Du Ducksworth's fun. Let's add him in. Add Mr. Ducksworth over here. In the pond. There we go. And the mallard ducks too. Is it fl it's floating? I knew it was floating. Right, I'm just gonna have to lower the tool mods or we're gonna have some floating ducks. I mean they're floating on the water, but we don't wanna fly that float them above the water. So we've got fish because we've got the lily pads, we've got fireflies, we've got Mr. Ducksworth and the mallard ducks. Could add a fallen tree. Right, let's decorate around. if you raise the ducks with the nine key you get ducks flying in the air. You, you will indeed. It will, they still will have the swimming version so it will look really funny. I love just putting them on the ground and letting them swim in the ground instead of in the ponds. I think that's funny too. But yeah I like that idea. I've never thought about actually doing that on purpose to make them look like they are flying. Loads of grass around here in the areas. Don't really want the sims to go as much. And I'll add some like flowers and stuff too. Just add the post box. I don't think you need the post box in the vacation lots, but if you have MC cheats, you need the post box to be able to do your cheats. The annoying thing about using the debug grasses are you can't delete them, like you can't click on them unless you click on this and like drag over them, but you have to select another item first. Super annoying. Do the lava carpet then place the ducks on it and make the ducks swim in lava that's such a great idea <laughs> i love that idea <laughs> yeah my ducks are cool they can swim in lava in elements from around the world so if you look around you can see sort of what flowers and grass they are using and bring that into the lot that you're building on because then it just ties it in a bit nicer it says lavender on the other builds i'm gonna add some lavender around these builds weird how there's 40 people watching but so few comment in uh, some people just don't like to chat which is fine some people are just there to support without chatting it's fine i i'm have i talk to myself on a daily basis so i am used to it 
if they're not chatting I'm not worried I'm just happy that there's people here and I'm really happy that you're chatting to me as well though it's good fun getting to know you because I've seen you comment on my stuff a lot and it's nice to know that you're called Emma as well so I like getting to know you a little bit I like these plants these are pretty Relaxing to watch, I forget to type most of the time. Exactly, we've got some chill music on, which I'm hoping I'm not gonna get copyright claimed for. Um, I hope not, we'll, we'll see when the stream ends. It is stream music, but it's meant for Twitch, so I don't know how it'll be here on YouTube. hate that the under roof is white like you've got to stare at that under there like it looks ridiculous but you can't paint them Get some stones around the place again just for extra detail why but I like coming on live and non-live vids well, that's really good for the broadcaster um, it's giving them interaction and if you comment on like YouTube videos it helps with engagement so it pushes their video out a little bit more because it's getting some interaction so it's really good that you do that so thank you as old as a two used to TV and forget you can interact yeah I'm just a, a TV program to you Plus you just ignore me on a daily basis anyway, so he doesn't really. <laughs> He's just sick of hearing my voice all the time. Right, what other flowers are used? Those little yellow ones. So I do want to use some of these. The colourful ones used as well. Looks like it's more the yellow ones and the purple ones. Glad you agree, snack. We love the oldies though, so it's fine. Because I'm an oldie too. <laughs> Add some more rocks. Maybe a little bit more seating around here just to fill in this area. So I just got a kind of funny idea because this one is called my first live stream. I know I'm doing something this as well. So what if the second live stream? So what is the second live stream? It's gonna be called my second live stream. <laughs> Can't wait for the Fortnite live stream. I haven't played Fortnite in so long. I think I still have it installed, but like I don't have like a desktop app of it, so I don't see that it's installed. But I think I still do have it. Uh, back in the day during COVID, we used to play Fortnite. I sucked at Fortnite though. Nobody wants me to play Fortnite with them. I'm usually the bait. I'm like, I I'll just get myself killed so you can save yourself. Hello Creamy Purple, welcome into the stream. How are you doing today? Out because I hate the harsh line. 
just joined the live well welcome in and thank you for joining this like the title says this is my first live stream so i don't know what i'm doing i'm figuring it out as i go along and i got recommendations to build an airframe house so that's what we've been doing it's recommended to build a pond if you have anything that you'd like to see in this build that might work let me know and i'll see if i can do something and add it in you're fine how are you doing i'm doing good i'm super nervous still um, i was a lot more nervous before the stream started i've started to calm down a little bit now especially with the really nice people chatting in the stream here to be honest this is one of the most fun live streams i've watched really <laughs> i feel like i'm so boring <laughs> Like the amount of stuff I cut out of my videos because I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm just a boring person. Oh, my game crashed for a second. I just realised how plain the bedroom is. I've literally just got a bed in here. So I've done a little bit outside. I'm going to come back inside. Actually, I'm not going to work there because if I go up, it's going to be floating, isn't it? Yeah, I can't deal with that. I can deal with the walls being floating. Can't deal with the floating lights. Just smashed it. Thank you, Snack. By the way, I'm calling Zach Snack. Um, I know that's why he's my mod. Uh, he's not my mod. He's my boyfriend's mod, and he is also a member of the channel. I do know him, so I call him Snack. So calm. Well, that's what I want. We want a chill place here. We're just building, having fun. I know what I'll do, add some wall lights. Maybe these ones. Maybe, maybe not. There's certain ones that I really like and I can't find them hard. These ones, like vintagey looking. <laughs> if you feel that you're boring, then think again. Okay, I'll think again. I still think I'm boring. <laughs> I keep feeling like I go silent for a second. I'm like, no, I need to be talking because you're going to get bored otherwise. But it's it's fine. First stream. I know not everything's going to be perfect. And hopefully I'll get better the more streams I do. I will be doing more streams because I am really enjoying this. Even though I'm struggling a little bit because I'm not used to it. I'm still enjoying it. I want something on this wall. I don't know whether to do art or some wall decor. Let's have a look what's in the wall decor options. Storm Pro Streamer. Sure. You're the pro streamer. You're the one that streams all of the time. I need something that's not wood because there's just so much wood in here. I need to break it up with something. I'm not sure what yet though. I could do some like plants, but I don't know how I feel about the trellis. Is Pal World still a thing? Not heard much since the hype of the release. I mean, I don't think I've heard much either. I played it a little bit with Toast, um, but we haven't played it in a while. And it's weird because it was fun, but then I just forgot about it. Did, did you play much Snack? Or if at all. We're doing great at the build. Thank you so much, Tracy. I'm just doing more wood. I don't want more wood. Unless it's a display. Maybe artwork is the way forward. Let's have a look at what art we've got. I could use some art from the gallery. I don't know what sort of style of art to do in here. I feel that's a little bit cheesy. <laughs> you, I don't know. Could go for something up like this. No, it doesn't look good big though. Oh, I could do two. Did like 50 hours then just stop, not head of any updates or anything maybe I'm oblivious to it yeah I haven't heard any updates but there could have been and I've just not paid attention but yeah 
yeah, I haven't seen much of it. Just two seconds, I need to let my doggy out of the room. She's, she's wanting out. open the door for her. Right, oh she's getting a drink, she might come back afterwards. She was napping on the chair behind me. I wish I could show you her but my camera, not playing ball. I can see if I can get it to work. Let me check. Bear with me. stay on for and if it keeps dinging I don't want to irritate you guys so I might have to turn it off but I'm gonna show you the dogger Lizzie she's walked off now she's been in here the entire time it's so calm right now when I play the sims 4 I'm so stressed oh, I get so stressed too honestly especially when I'm doing like my tutorials when I'm testing it is a nightmare I am um, so stressed. There it goes. I knew it was gonna go. And now it's gonna do its weird glitchy thing. I'm gonna go get her. Doggy Maisie. Closest guess wins what? Guess what? Did I say something I forgot? Do you have any other pets other than a doggo? I do not sadly. I used to have a fair few pets um, before I moved in with my boyfriend and we just didn't have the room so I, had to, I gave my sister my hamster she had my hamster for a few years she lived until she was like almost four which is unheard of for hamsters and i had to sell my guinea pigs yes little Maisie. thank you and i had a rabbit and he was my baby and my sister i also gave him to my sister he was everything but that be passed away last no it wasn't last year it was a year before now time flies so fast but yeah so we've i've only got little miss Maisie for now you want it to come back up? Yeah. <sighs> yes! She's a beagle. She is a beagle. She's a she. Oh, big yawn. <laughs> How are you still tired? Yes. Oh, you're so beautiful. Frog, you want a frog log? I can add a frog log into the pond or something. You're so precious. Go down now? Yeah, oh, don't fix my face. <laughs> yes, I love you too. Wanna go down and get daddy? Cookie daddy, go on. Cookie daddy. Just on the floor staring at me. She's called Maisie. She's named after Maisie Peters. I don't know if you know who that is, but she's a singer. Um, both me and my boyfriend really loved her, so we named her after her. Right, let's carry on building. It's enough dog content for now. My camera's lagging so bad. I'm gonna turn it back off because it's not doing well. Close down the app. There we go. And get back to this. Get back to building like I'm supposed to be doing. Right, you wanted a turtle log. Let's pop the turtle log in the pond. Gotta go now, so it's nice watching. No, thanks for being here, and I'll hope to catch you again in the future. See you later, creamy purple.
and enjoy the rest of your day. It's a bog log. I thought it was a frog log too, to be honest. But it looks quite nice, so let's place that in here. And back to the bedroom. Right, what other things can we add in the bedroom? Could add some plants, especially in this corner. I hate it that the door's open and it might cut into it. do that hanging plant again because I really do love it. I like this one as well though. Maybe go for this one. Yeah, does it, anybody else have any pets? I'd love to know because I love animals. And um, that's the thing about going to visit my mum and my stepdad. And like my two little sisters, two of them live at home with them and there is so many animals at my parents' house. Um, they have eight dogs. Eight. They're all little so it's not too bad. Like they have like Frenchies and pugs, a couple of mixes, chihuahuas, that sort of thing. I have two doggers and one cat. What are their names? I'd love to know their names. I know you have a dogger, Snack. He's a very, he's a very cute dogger. Fuck a spaniel who was groomed yesterday. Looks like log fuck what now? <laughs> I love it. That's fantastic. I think that's a good thing about having like a beagle because she's short haired. We don't have to get her professionally groomed or anything. We can just do it ourselves. It's just a, a brush. Like, I will wash hair and brush hair. Fine. No, I don't like it. I have a dog and two cats. Very nice. I'm going to ask what type of dogs do, do you have? Because I don't know breeds of cats at all. Mila, Panda, and is it Maya? They're all my languages, names, Maya. It sounds like Maya. Yeah, I got it right. I wish we didn't, Christ. They know how to chat. I can imagine it's expensive. I work inside, whoops. I think I, like if I did dog grooming, I think I charge a lot to be fair. Because even Maisie being short haired and it being easy, it's a nightmare. Like, I hate it when it comes to wash day, which we don't do often. It's just like, oh, does she smell yet? Now it's time to wash her. But she doesn't like going in the bath, so you have to do it in the shower. And it's not a fun time. Because she doesn't want to be in there, she hates it. Do a little, oh, I, I like to do a rug under my beds. Let's do that. Be cheap to get a new dog every year. <laughs> I can imagine. Uh, what rug should I go for? The E. No, it's like the E in else. So like Mel in, in Elsa. Mella? Is that right? Do you live in like a, a Spanish speaking country? Because the E's in Spanish is like an E sound, not an E sound. And I's sound like E's. I, I know a tiniest bit of Spanish. I do not know a lot. I started learning a few years ago. I love that rug. Yeah, it's right. Fantastic. need something for this wall. No, not Spanish, right, okay. I suppose like when I think of a lot of like more European countries, because we even go to like Nordic, like J is not pronounced like a J. Um, so that's why I thought like maybe Spanish, but then 
Nordic countries also don't pronounce the J's like we do here in England. You'll merge. Maybe you do that. Might be something from Horse Ranch. but I know I can't because the door opens there. Stasia or Stasia? It's short for Anastasia, so is it Stasia? Pippa, the dog, is a proper diva. She's a cross between a Shih Tzu and a Jack Russell. Uh, my mum has two of her dogs, so Chihuahuas cross Jack Russells. And they're a little handful. <laughs> they are cute, though. Is that dog going to hit that? Move it forward a little bit, maybe. I don't know if I like it there. Maybe get rid of that. Add a, a mirror here. The language is similar to Polish, I'd say. Right, right. That is not the right type of mirror. That's too vintage. doing the like combo of a mirror, a chair and a plant. I don't know if this plant's working. Do a different plant instead. Uh, I feel like I'm going to end up going for the same plant that I've got here. I'll just do it in a different colour. Oh no, it's a hanging plant. I can't because of the window, the window roof forget that I can't do that. Oh, I like this plant. This is also from Crystal Creations. It's a really nice plant. Maybe on the other side. Or maybe do a floor lamp. I forget that floor lamps exist. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Maybe behind the chair. I was going to say this one might be good behind the chair, but I don't think the style goes. Ooh, this one goes. I like this one. piece of artwork here the door would just go over the top of it as long as it's quite flat so I might do that no I'm so indecisive it's hard to pick things that's too modern me I feel like the art there lacks in The Sims 4. A lot of the times I end up using gallery art. I don't want to sit and search through it right now though. The gallery art is so much better. I'm not liking anything. I just go with this. And 
that door would like slide over. Yeah, we're gonna see it just slides over just fine. Still needs more light in here though. Unless I just hide these lights slightly into the walls. <laughs> to add some lighting so we can actually see what we're doing that's a little bit better we can see in there right now the kitchen needs its lighting oops i do that so often where instead of deleting an item i delete the entire room is that just me or do other people do that too lighting There we go, people will be able to see what they're doing on a night time. Let's to this side too. super dark. Maybe still use the sconces in here. Why does that not look central? I did put one that side. Maybe I have to do a light off center. Why did I decide to do a glass roof? Unless I make the glass, glass roof smaller. That big, so. I'm just gonna do the hide in the light. In the walls a little bit. in here I need the bathroom can stick with this sort of lighting I don't mind that right is there anything else I need so we have a kitchen in the kitchen we've got a cooker we've got a sink I don't have a microwave that's not a microwave because we've got quite a lot of side space here so it would easily fit I hit up the there I'm sizing it down Colour your pet. Pepper is mostly white and both cats are black. Ooh, I love black cats. I, I just think they're like a witch's cat and I just think that's perfect. That's everything in there unless I added more detail. I feel like I need to add something in this little walkway. Maybe a little console table. to the other side too. Like that. I can never find the console tables. I feel like they're under accent tables. 
need to look pretty slim. Thin. Maybe, maybe that. And let's add a plant on here. My cat Maya has a black back and the belly is white and a few ginger splashes in the black. Oh, that's a very nice colouring. I'm pretty happy with this not 100% but I think it needs more detail but because I just scroll through my catalog for 10,000 years I don't want to put you through that so I might leave it at this I'm gonna get my sim to come here to show you this build just give it a save just because I don't want to lose anything that I've done go back to my sim and get her to travel here it's the only annoying thing about the vacation wells is having to travel there and do it as a vacation uh, so my sim should be still back here I mean it'd be weird to call a dog panda if it wasn't black and white true very true a good name for a, um, a black and white dog. Let's take a vacation. And travel to what I've just built. how long the sims takes to load in why is it dull again can, can we have some light please make it sunny Your mum calls him Fluffy. It's kind of like a panda has two names. Oh, that's cute. Right, so this is what I have done in today's stream. And we can see we do have the little duckies and obviously Mr. Ducksworth as well, just swimming over there. One of them swimming in a rock. I love making ponds. Really grateful for telling me to add one. I've added one and it looks good. Like what what is he doing? Got a little seating area with the fire pit. Again another lovely suggestion. And then back here is just the little bonfire that I've added. I didn't detail around these trees, totally forgot. people knocking at the door oh the windows moved because I moved the thing that is supposed to be higher we go inside go into the little living area with the fireplace a little TV above should have painted the ceilings as well that's something I always forget until I come into this mode little area play on the PC. Could you show us a build at night? Yes, I will do. Little galleyway style kitchen to a dining area. Yeah, I hate the welcome party. Let's just go through the wall. Let's go into the bedroom because we are a ghost. 
simple bedroom. I've kept things pretty simple today because I don't want the stream to go on for too long. Um, because like I said, I do need to go and cook. And then I've gone for quite a modern style bathroom. I want to go for like dark, moody, modern, but not fully modern. But we've got curtains, so your sim can close the curtains. They are slightly see-through, but it's fine, it's the sims, they don't care. Lovely skylight. And I'll change the build to night time. Not the build, the time to night time. What time is it now? 11 a.m. Children what time. So if I just go like 10 hours in front, night time. And you can see the fireflies, my favorite thing. I just realized how much the kitchen looks like my cousin's kitchen, does it really? <laughs> That's funny. It's quite dark and moody. I could have added some lights around the place on the outside. I feel like I forgot to do that. Maybe I'll do that off stream before I upload this to the gallery. To be honest, the bathroom is raised. It'd be hard to see from the outside. That's a good point. When I made my cat tree, build and I did the bathroom on the top level and th there's like no rooms it's just open to the outside people are like but why would you want the bathroom open to the elements it's on the top level nobody can see up there right it's very dark and moody I should change these light strips to a warmer color though I feel like the warmer color would suit it better room looking out at night. Imagine looking out to that at night. That would be beautiful. And the bathroom. Maybe make the stream a little longer and do the outside lights too. Right, I'll do the outside lights and that'll be like the last thing that I do free build now because I've got here. Free build. There we go. Now I can build while my sim's here. And now it's night time. I can do it. I have a deal cat, spoilt rotten and solid black. Very nice. We love a diva cat. We love a diva pet. Pets being diva is the best thing ever. lighting and go to outdoor lighting. I'm not sure what sort of lighting I want to go for. Like log cabin -y style, what would that style be? Spotlights under the stilts. Ooh, that might work, but it's the Sims. I feel like it's going to not want to put it under the stilt. But I can try. Where's the spotlights gone? debug ones. Or the base game ones. There they are. But it's not going to let me put it, unless I do it like in, just in front, it's lighting up in front. Like lighting up the front of the house. let off a lot of light like look how little light is coming off that do the light lanterns mine isn't fluffy but not short hair either or is it like in, in between
I'm just, I really want to use lanterns, but I feel like it's not, it doesn't work for this style. <laughs> so I'm trying not to. These might work. I dotted them around like the path. So dark. Maybe need more plants around here. see where you're going in the night time. It's around there in a second. They've got a good mixture between short haired and fluffy then. <laughs> something along those lines. Need more around here as well. a bit better. Oops, not mean to put that up there. You hate landscaping. I really love landscaping. Not in real life doing anything outdoors in real life but landscaping in the sims I really love it I think it just brings a build together you just remembered a fun YouTube channel Ooh, who who I need to watch them if they're fun don't remember the name and I forgot to subscribe oh, I hate I do that all of the time I'm like I'm, I think I've subscribed and I really haven't and then it's just like you've got to wait until they pop up again. And then they never pop up sometimes. And it's horrible. So I think that's my build for now. Um, I've been on here for I don't know how long. I don't know where to check. How long have been on? Oh, two hours and 50 minutes. That is longer than I was supposed to go for. 
and I need to go cook food so I'm gonna say bye to you all and thank you all so much for coming to the stream if I knew how this worked it would be great let me check my activity feed somebody did a tip and I can't remember the name and I can't remember I don't know how to look at it on my end so thank you to that person I'm really sorry I can't remember the name I thought it before really bad at names thank you to the person who donated that was very kind of you and thank you all for being here it's been a very lovely first stream and I will be streaming again oh you just got here I'm so sorry um that badass unicorn I will be streaming again I won't be streaming next week because I'm away for the weekend to go see my family but the weekend after I might stream I don't know if it'll be the Saturday or Sunday they're just the best days for me to stream so I will be back um I do have a discord I very rarely speak in there because I forget but you can join the discord it is linked in my long form videos I'll try to remember to link it in my stream description next time I totally forgot this time remember the person who doing it got cheese. cheese and cheese yes don't forget the cheese always remember the cheese um, and I will try next time to figure out how to get up that things where I can see who done it yeah I'll be back in about two weeks time sorry it's going to be such a long time I will try to do one stream a week from now on because I really enjoyed it and I want to thank everybody so much for chatting um, toast for modding for me I'm normally the mod for him so it's weird him being the mod you all seem to have behaved anyway so didn't have to do any real modding I don't think unless he's done something and I haven't seen yeah thank you all for hanging out and I will see you in my next stream bye everybody